So every morning pretty much starts the same. I wake up and try to understand where I am and I have to go feed the cat. When Canucks is finally happy, that means I can finally enjoy my life. And then I vaguely and very messily just make my bed really quickly so that, you know, everything is nice and in order by the time I come back. Some quick shots of Calyx, get all of his majesty. You probably never noticed how absolutely adorable he is. Went on a date to a fancy restaurant yesterday and got these awesome, awesome flowers that Calyx tipped over and I had to reorganize. The most important part of my Sundays is studying for the Monday weekly quiz, which is basically the equivalent of a college exam. So I spend the whole day watching lectures that I haven't watched and studying and reviewing all of this week's material. So that's what I'm mostly going to do today. Made a little array of fruit. I love cold oranges in the morning. And now I'm just going to go to my little study area and start working on some lectures. And yeah, this is pretty much how I spend many hours of my life all of the time. <laughs> Hello YouTube, right now I am uh, Skyping with a fellow subscriber? Yeah. Okay, name's Sydney. You're gonna interview me about med school, I guess. So yeah. You're like, okay, I know the diagnosis, I know it. I really know it. But they're not asking you to diagnose it, that would be too simple. They're saying, what is the next step in the management of this patient? I don't know this. Alrighty, it is now 1.33 in the morning and I am ready to go to sleep. I have gotten maybe six hours of sleep this whole weekend. I'm having a lot of trouble going to sleep and I know I will tonight too. So I just pray that I was, I'm able to make it through lecture tomorrow. It is very cold and rainy in Texas today. Hey guys, so I am at the clinic right now and um, I'm here because I had this small like pimple like thing that is kind of infected. It's also spreading like there's other bumps um, kind of further away from it and it's kind of honey crusted so probably infected and uh, I don't know what's going on and it's been about a week since I've had it and it just seems to be getting worse. So the doctor said it might be a staph infection but they swabbed it and are sending it for culture and the little bumps around it, it might have gone systemic into my bloodstream and created tiny infections elsewhere. And I also have horrible muscle pain right here and she said that could be due to the inflammation. It has a little bit more fluid in this leg than this leg. So right now I have to go pick up some empirical antibiotics to hopefully stop the infection and I have to come back Thursday for a checkup and once the culture comes back telling me what organism that is, we can get a more specific antibiotic. Okay guys, so I received my antibiotics from Walmart. Uh, this is sulfamexazole trimethoprim, which is a pretty broad spectrum antibiotic. I'll let you know how this thing heals. And if you look very closely, you can see little tufts of hair coming from between the blinds. And that is Calyx. <laughs> right now I'm working on histology, which if you don't know is basically, you look at slides, that look like this. Um, these are cells under a microscope and basically you look through them and you label the different parts. You label the epithelium and the muscle and the lamina propria and you'll learn what all of that is. And it's kind of like my least favorite part about studying. These tasks take forever so I'm maybe halfway through but it's already 8.42 so I'm still going, have some water, have some half-eaten soup, have my cat, and cold weather to keep me going for the rest of the night. So in our reading, our teacher likes to leave notes and she left, you should know this. Not that this should come as a surprise to you, knowing the importance of P53. Ah yes, P53. That thing. <laughs> it is a cold, cold, it's about 41 degrees and raining hardcore, well, semi-hardcore. And we're going to class, and we're about an hour late. That's okay, because we try. 
Today we have our group histopath assignment till noon. And then I have a patient to interview at about 1.45. We are in histopath right now where we are looking at slides uh, with our team. Go see a patient today. So I have my white coat. The school is being so kind to give us free box lunches and sandwiches and cookies uh, in exchange for filling out a survey. It's called the AAMC Y2Q. I have no idea what it is, but in exchange for food, I'd do anything. <laughs> Not too good. We're getting ready to interview a whole bunch of admissions. This is for applicants who come here to interview. They wanted to do, hey, they wanted to do, this is Raji. <laughs> The interviewees look at this and they get to see some or hear some great words from our admissions committee. So, this is for your yeah. Hi guys, this is my partner Raji. Raji, go ahead and tell us about what the heck we're doing. Um, so we're building for the UE office. Um, we got approached by. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry about that. We had to cut it short because uh, the people started coming in for us to interview. But now I am going towards the building where we interview patients and practice our interviewing skills. We d I just interviewed a few faculty about um, why they're on the admissions committee. And we were hearing a lot of their backgrounds. One of them is a woman who went to school in the 70s, medical school. And she was saying how to point out different anatomy features um, on the human body. They would sometimes use like a Playboy model to do it and that uh, female medical students had to change in the nurses changing room and male nurses had got to change in the surgeons room which is only male surgeons and how there was big discrepancies between females and males in medicine and it just made me appreciate that you know women in medicine have gotten so far and sometimes so easy to, to take it for granted and uh, I don't know I'm just so proud to be a woman in medicine and continue to remind the world that we are very smart very capable very strong very willing and we can go very very far Ooh, so pretty <sighs> all right go into my patient encounter and I will see you in a bit all right everybody so I just came back from oh. Christian hi everybody so I just came back from my clinical encounter with my patients and I received all threes um, I did forget to do a few things for both of the exams but the point is is that they think that I'm nice sweet and make them feel comfortable so that's the most important thing hi guys so welcome to another morning it is Thursday morning and right now I am making some coffee this this is empty but yes I'm making some coffee and I'm making some ramen noodles um, it's like my emergency food. Calix is, he was enjoying his food. He's pretty much the reason I get up every morning because he wakes me up to be fed. I'm gonna start studying for the quiz that we have at 8 a.m. It's called the synthesis quiz where we go over a case together with our groups. We learn how to form a diagnosis and look for symptoms and stuff and it's very fun. It's a very easy day. I was actually looking at my cut and look, it's like so much better. Like, antibiotics are crazy, which reminds me, I have to take mine right now. So yes, this is my crazy morning. I have to get ready, I have to go steady, I have to eat, and then I will be on my way to school. It's a gloomy day here at school. We're headed to class to start our case dis discussion. It's downstairs by all the lockers. And yes, med students get lockers, it's just that nobody really uses them. So I am back at the clinic. I'm getting this looked at, and it looks a lot better. So the antibiotics are working and the power of medicine is awesome. Guys, you never believe it. It is snowing. It is snowing here in Texas. I can't believe it. This is so crazy. It never snows. It literally never snows. Oh my gosh. I am so freaked out right now. Like this never happens. I haven't had, I don't think we've had snow in like seven years. So this is so crazy. And Calyx, it's too cold to come outside, but I'm trying to get it's me and Calyx in the snow. So happy to be with you, sweetheart. All 
right guys, another day of pretty much the same grind. We got Calyx here living on the edge, literally. And we have homework that needs to be done. And so I have it all ready in this very Instagram looking couch. And I'm about to start watching lectures on my TV. And now I'm all snug and warm. And I'm about to start the lecture. Um. <laughs> Uh, what was that? I didn't know it was my lecture. Hello, that's really weird. <laughs> Alrighty, well, yeah, I'm gonna start the lectures. Alright guys, it is Friday and the snow is melting everywhere. Our poor excuse for snow. Uh, today is actually the last class day of the year. So I'm going and making a count, trying to get there on time. Probably will be a little bit late. Um, we're going to be learning about dysphagia and abdominal pain. So those will be our last classes and then, you know, technically study week starts and uh, my next week's vlog will be over my gastrointestinal uh, finals week, week. Oh, and the cause of this funky lighting is because the sun is more so above us than usual. That's because class was canceled till 10 a.m. So there was no TVL quiz. So yay, this is a very good morning. So this is the campus, very snowy but crystal clear blue skies today. So, heading to class now. It's so weird, it's like snow, but clear skies and it's warm. So, that's really weird, that's why it's like raining everywhere. Christmas caroling tonight. We are Christmas caroling today, we're going to go to the hospital, so we're practicing. So we are walking to the hospital right now. Oh, it's all black, just one second. What's up? It's a Gophany. Radka, Laura here, and we are singing Christmas carols at the hospital, and we're going to do in front of the tree, and then we're going to go to the children's floor and sing for them. It's going to be so much fun! Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Ooh, it's too pretty. Just give it to him so he has to go. Okay. Make the seasons bright. So, uh, I'm finally back. I'm finally done Christmas caroling, and then I went and had dinner with uh, Bay's mom, and that was really, really crazy because I've never actually met a serious relationship's mother before. So that was really interesting, and he has a very loving family, and they were so wonderful, and yay, it was so much fun. But now I am so tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep, and this is the end of my week, everybody. So thank you guys so much for watching my vlog, and as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.